This video is about Tight VNC. You can use it to access another computer's desktop. So you install the VNC server software onto the computer and the VNC viewer software onto the client computer and enter the IP address into the client computer. Connect and enter the password that you have assigned. And then you have the desktop of your computer. So if you need to make changes on the computer that is at a remote location, you can do that using this. Now if you want to configure your server to be accessible over the internet, you need to uh, make sure you have the ports assigned properly, so your main server port would be 5900, and if you want web access through Java clients, it's 5800. Those are the default selections. And once you've assigned those ports in the server configuration, you're going to need to change your firewall or router's settings by entering the IP address in your web browser of your router, which typically is 192.168.1.1. And once you get there, you're going to go to the forwarding options and virtual servers, and you're going to need to add new and enter the service port so that was the 5900 and the IP address associated with it so the computer that is hosting the server that computer's local IP address so you'd enter that which 192.168.1.101 and allow all protocols enabled and then hit save since I already have this done I'm not going to save it and that's how you can allow access to your uh, computer over the internet. And the IP address you would enter into the uh, viewer would be the IP address that is assigned from your ISP, your internet service provider. And you can also install VNC onto your cell phone. Which will work over Wi Fi or over your wireless phone's connection. So here's the desktop I showed you earlier. So this is the Tight VNC website. The URL is tightvnc.com. The software is free and it works on Windows and Unix and Java clients like on the cell phone. 